It's an election year in the U.S., and here at the annual meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, which wrapped up this week in Boston, the two most popular topics of conversation were science and politics. Of course, people here realize that science is intimately connected with many of the challenges the world faces today, including climate change, global health, energy, you name it. But they also realize that ultimately it's the politicians who are going to decide how those challenges are going to be met. And that's why the question on everyone's mind at this year's conference is who will be the next president of the United States and what will it mean for science? That probably explains why so many scientists at this year's meeting were eager to hear from representatives for the two leading Democratic presidential candidates, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. The Republican candidates, including Senator John McCain, chose not to send anyone, but with Clinton and Obama in a tight race to win their party's nomination, there was no lack of interest and no lack of promises for American scientists. She has endorsed the notion of creating ARPA for energy to accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economy. Uh, she has a plan for using health information technology as a way of reducing medical errors and administrative costs. Not surprisingly, both Clinton and Obama are promising a big improvement over the Bush administration's record on science. And we are going to restore science policy to science and to scientists and to depoliticize it and take it out of the hands of the entrenched Washington interests. But of course, neither one of them will be running against George Bush come November. So the audience was really hoping to get at the differences between the Obama and Clinton approaches to science. She has proposed to double over 10 years the research budgets of the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy Office of Science, uh, uh, the Department of Defense's support for basic and applied research, and NIST. And not only that, uh, she's also talked about the importance uh, more funding for high-risk, high-return research. That's Tom Khalil, the Clinton representative. Alec Ross from the Obama team was less specific, but said we'd find more online. He also emphasized his candidate equates technology with social progress. Barack Obama will also be the first president to appoint a chief technology officer. And that chief technology officer will have very substantial responsibilities. And so it went for nearly two hours. But what did the scientists think? spokesman at this session uh, presented uh, credible and tangible evidence that they are not Johnny come latelys to issues of, of science and technology. Senator Clinton's proposal to triple the number of NSF grants available to graduate students is really, really key for people in my age demographic. Now this meeting of science and politics is all well and good, but of course what people would really like to see are the candidates speaking to the issues in their own words. In other words, up on the podium themselves debating science. And in fact, there's an effort underway to get them to do just that. It's called Science Debate 2008, and its objective is a full-scale presidential debate on issues relating to science and technology. Formal invitations have gone out to all the candidates, and both the Obama and Clinton campaigns say they are giving it serious consideration. And so they should, says physicist and new scientist columnist Lawrence Krauss, who's one of the scientists behind the effort. And your message directed to the candidates, come to the debate. With come to the debate, don't be afraid, it's not a quiz. Okay? It's no, we're not going to ask the seventh decimal place of pi. It's a question just to ask, we're going to ask about key issues that you should have thought about. And if you haven't thought about them, you better be prepared to think about them if you want to be an effective president. If the candidates decide to show up, the debate is scheduled for mid-April. And based on the political engagement of scientists this year, you can be sure those candidates will be playing to a full house.